Hey, this is your syllabus video for chemistry. Um, this is Mr. Captain Sarah. My name is Steve Stewart. And uh, the textbook we're going to use is the World of Chemistry Rudolph. It's a blue book um, that has a uh, curriculum on the left. And then, very important, I'll just let you know when you're able to see this video without going to my website, Mr. Captain Sarah, without using.com. I highly recommend that you bookmark that page because um, practically everything. to becoming a lifelong learner because of the possible student, the diverse uh, environment while aiming for excellence. I had a surprise. Expecting school that results from a learning goal. So I have to say, Tokyo High School will um, be ready for college, and clear on students who find graduation, engage learners in achieving academic growth, um, and demonstrate participation in the community, both within the school and beyond. Okay? Um, this is more than, these test scores are more than just
have going into the class as far as gaining knowledge on your own, meaning if you read the reading or watching the videos, um, the better questions you can ask and the better questions you ask, the more, uh, uh, the more accurate answers that you can or the, the better answers you can assume, right? So you can get uh, some clarity uh, with your ability to just gain knowledge on your own. Okay? And as I mentioned right there, asking questions is important. You can be responsible for your education. It does not matter what somebody else so if you have a question, that's not a business, okay? Your education is a business that you're responsible for. All right, so classroom rules, can the food in the classroom at any time? The reason why I say this is because this is a Chromebook classroom. Okay. And that's my point. That makes sense. So, um, be respectful uh, to everyone in the classroom and everybody at the school at all times, okay? Uh, to the custodian, to the groundskeeper, to the administrator, teacher, doesn't matter, okay? Be respectful, treat as those, uh, uh, you know, treat as you want to be treated, okay? So, uh, let's see here. Oh, greater supply, of, okay, treat all the people that want to share for the Chromebooks mainly, right? Uh, they're, they're pretty sturdy, but let's not test the structural integrity of our Chromebooks. Uh, students are bringing all supplies every day, calculators or whatever it is, okay? Now, there are calculators available on the Chromebook. I have them on the School of References tab. Um, however, um, some people find them, uh, those calculators, uh, or use those calculators to what homework and so they tend to bring their own. I highly recommend you do your own. Um, not to mention you'll become very familiar with it. However, I would like you to become familiar with the, pro the calculator that's on, the, on my webpage, just in case you get your calculator on a test day and you need to know how to use that calculator because it may be in your in class, but like I said, after you declare tardy, um, you'll uh, start to get some reaction. Uh, let's see here. Lab words, follow safety procedures. I'm going to go over the, uh, the safety procedures in the lab once we get to it. Um, don't play with me on those, okay? Your safety is of the utmost importance, so that's pushing them around and putting other people in danger. Um, just simply so don't leave in the lab and not be able to uh, do this. Okay, backpack person, you're going to have students put them on the floor, keep them off your desks. Um, don't put them in your lap, don't put them on your desk, uh, just because um, they'll draw attention to you. Specifically, my attention, they're not going to be playing with your phone, which you shouldn't be playing with. Okay? Um, but, uh, I do take the phone switch with my daughter when they're nine. Um, again, the rules are really not Alright, number eight. A uh, teacher not able to work on labor from another class without permission. Um, I'm usually fine with you working on stuff, you finish my stuff first. Okay? That's, that's that simple. So if you finish all the stuff for me, you want to work in history, you want to work on your math, I, I have no problem with it, just make sure that you completely finish what um, I ask of you. Okay, uh, electronic devices, including phones, media players, video game players of any kind, are not allowed in the class without permission. Okay, if they are used without permission, they will be confiscated, confiscated com uh, communication devices, or any devices, and that will be given, uh, given to the appropriate assistant principal at my leisure meeting. I'm not going to break my neck to make sure that you get your phone back on time. Okay, it should have been confiscated in the first place. So for OHS policy, parents or guardians are the only ones who are allowed to pick up a confiscated communication device. Um, I, I'm up against it because it's cool, so make sure you guys uh, abide by it as well. Um, and number 10, just because it's at 43, the fact that it is. So Chromebook procedures, okay, pick up the Chromebook with me in class, unless you're told to be otherwise, but mostly you're going to be using it every day. Okay, return everything last three minutes of class because I don't want you guys returning it for 10 minutes before class when you're sitting there twirling your thumb. Um, classroom procedures, uh, students ask them, you're done for all your assignments. You have two days after the day you come back, so you have 48 hours after that. So for example, if you're gone on Monday, and Tuesday, if you return on Wednesday, the assignment is due next Monday. Um, so you're given those Thursday, Friday hours to get it done. Okay, assignments are given prior to that, so still doing the day, meaning if you knew something was due on Wednesday, and you had, say, assignments on Monday, and you knew it was due on Wednesday, but it's on uh, Tuesday, it's still due on the next day. Um, and of course, numbers two and three are applying just to excused absences. Um, if you have an unexcused absence, uh, don't count on getting anything. Okay. Now, if you have an unexcused absence and it's um, unable to be excused, but it's been able to completely out of your control, talk to me. Okay. Come see me, and then we'll see. Uh, please sort something out. Okay. Um, 
on all exams, the recessional semester finals and midterms, and they have their response portions. Okay, usually their response portions are going to be either like working on a final model or working something out to show that you have to work. Okay, um, very important. Work for every unit submitted electronically using the classroom scanner. We are a scanner in the classroom. Successful submission includes three parts. One, when you scan in, you must rename your file, and your name is fine with your last name and first name. Okay. Secondly, we need to add it to the appropriate assignment folder. There will be assignment folders that you can click and drag your folder or your file into that folder. And lastly, you must change the permissions of that file to upload back into integrity. Okay. Because they're they're scanning into a shared folder, everyone in the class has access to that shared folder. That means everybody has access to your work until you change the permissions. If I see that you haven't changed the permissions, you will see zero on the assignment, and I will most likely send you to the AD file or DD file. Okay, Chromebook rules. Um, these are pretty much universal throughout all the Chromebook classrooms and in the Chromebook labs. Okay, um, I'll just go through a few. Just keep your, you know, have a, uh, um, I'll register you a Chromebook in the classroom so you can get the same one every time. That's going to help speed up the, uh, uh, you know, the processing for it if it already has your stuff bookmarked. So it'll speed up. Uh, use both hands to carry it, okay? Don't carry it with both hands. Um, uh, use Canvas Research Create Play class assignments, okay? Use only from the permission. Uh, don't place on the ground or stack on top of the book. Don't carry it or pass it over the screen. Don't tap the dirty hands, like some of these folks wash your hands. Um, do not go on a website to conduct online searches about like, some unrelated topics without permission. Okay? If I see you looking up, you know, the football scores, or I see you looking up uh, Pandora or whatever, okay? No. Okay, you'll lose the permission and you won't be very happy with what happens after. Um, and lastly, do not download any applications without my permission. But if you, by doing so, then you could lose the privilege. Okay, special note, again, if I feel confident in your I do not feel confident in your ability to abide by these rules. You will be denied the use of these invaluable tools and privileges in your own right. Now, grading policies. Uh, an A is 85 to 100%, a B is 75 to 84.99%, a C is 65 to 74.99%, a D is 55 to 64.99%, and anything less than a 55% of failing. This is a little different than the normal class. Um, hopefully, it will result in some better scores for you guys. Um, and hopefully realizing that that 50% A, you know, maybe you can push higher to get that A. Right? Just push a little harder to get that A. Uh, grades will be updated in a timely manner. Okay, roughly every two weeks, I'll do my best. Um, your grade distribution, okay, assignments are 20%. Uh, your laboratory time assignments are 20%. Your assessments, meaning quizzes and tests, are both 40%. Um, and then the midterm and final are 10%. You will have a midterm, which will count in the final category. So. Uh, those two tests are, are big. So make sure you set a form and don't worry, we will have some final, uh, final and midterm review days are going up. Uh, extra credit, there will not be many extra credit assignments. Um, I'll probably assign one uh, extra credit uh, per semester, and then everything else is going to be um, opportunities on extra credit assessments, such as um, I give you extra credit problems on a test. So if you finish all the questions in the test, then you have an opportunity to get extra points with that. Uh, laboratory reports and abstracts. Uh, labs are a substantial part of the student's grade. Uh, also, you should give copious notes in lab and a composition book. Okay? Um, I prefer a composition book. If you have a spiral, that's fine. Um, but I like the comp books because they're a little uh, more hardy. Uh, there will be many laboratory assignments throughout the year, and the assignments will include uh, scientific abstracts and scientific reports. So you could have an abstract which is just, I don't want to say it's a summary, but that's the closest thing I can. All lab reports and abstracts will be electronically approved, just like uh, your other assignments. Okay. Uh, quizzes, students should expect one to two quizzes per unit. Okay. For some quizzes, um, there will be a minimum score required, which are called mastery quizzes, which means, like for example, if it's a 10 point quiz, and I say it's a mastery quiz and it's you need a B, that means there's four possible scores 10, 9, 8, and 0. If you get anything less than 8, you're excluded. Um, exam retakes, you will have one opportunity to retake each exam. Okay, I will have specific dates and they are uh, non negotiable. Okay, um, those are the days that I have. If you have something emergency, again, this is a problem. I 
years we were given during uh, mom and dad late work. Uh, I won't tell you anything about getting late work without you know, the special education. Again, it better be uh, something big. Uh, let's see, uh, lab assessments or lab or assessments that are missed. Uh, I'll have one day for lab and one day for test to make up. No other days will be allotted regardless of the excuse. Okay, I, the lab setup is a lot different than just refilling the, the test. Okay, so let me choose that this one. I'm gonna make up to make sure they're excused. My office hours are during lunch and during seventh period on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, recommended supplies, a binder with paper in it, preferably college rules, earphones or earbuds so you can listen to videos if you didn't get a chance to watch the night before or you want to be watching the study. A scientific calculator, pencils, uh, a black ballpoint pen for laboratory. I'm not using any other color but black. Um, your uh, composition notebook okay, for your, your lab, and then draft paper for your lab reports. So, contact information this is the best way to get a hold of me. Okay, Officer at ojhc.org. Okay, I will usually respond within 36 hours. Um, if not, if I said parent, you know, parent is like, hey, if I don't get an answer back to you within 36 hours, feel free to send another one to blow me up or um, come into the, uh, the high school at 847 and then uh, they'll transfer you to me. Um, obviously, if I'm in class, they won't transfer you, but um, yeah, if, I'm, if I can't answer or I'm unable to answer, leave me a message and I'll check it. Okay, now this paper right here is what you're getting tomorrow. Okay. We're going to talk about the honor code, talking about what the syllabus is. Big thing right here, um, the second paragraph. This syllabus, as well as the revisions, are able to review on my website. As instructor, I reserve the right to amend my course expectations, policies, rules, procedures to better facilitate the needs of an individual student or the class as a whole. Okay, I tend not to mess with my syllabus very much, but if there is a situation in which I would need to change it, I will let you guys know. Okay? And then make sure that we uh, sign it, put your name on top, of course, in theory. Okay. Uh, sign it, your parent and guardian name, parent and guardian signature, parent and guardian email, parent and guardian phone number. Okay. The last two are extremely important. Okay. If they got an email and they take email regularly, that's great because I'll do a lot of communication with parents through email and don't think that that's not a bad, don't think that's a bad thing for you as a student. Okay. The more contact that you and, or that I, that I have with your parents or guardians, the better off you will do because um, it's going to be helpful. So, on I you can go from there. You can go with that or you can go with the Text message reminders, okay? This is obviously how you got the syllabus. But right above that syllabus button, uh, text message reminders. Click on that. Okay, this is how you sign, uh, sign up to get text message from me. If, now this isn't something that uh, many of you had this for, but um, just so we're clear, here I'm, I'm not going to blow up your phone for one. And if you're unable to reply in this case, all you're going to do is type in um, you know, the message is at Rathkin, and the number is 424-543-6387. Okay, it'll ask you a series of questions to write your name and stuff like that. Go ahead and just write your name, and it'll save you to a, uh, a, 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 a listserv that has your name and phone number. So when I send um, and they'll be added to my class. And when I send out a pen message, it'll go out to you and you get a reminder about it. If you have a test tomorrow, if you have a quiz, um, if you have a lab tomorrow, make sure to bring closer of shoes or watch the homework video or the video is not posted back to the course. Okay, I'm not going to just send you messages. Um, if you don't like uh, text messaging, you want to go email. subject blank and then it'll uh, it'll sign you up. Okay. Um, if you can of course unsubscribe at the end of the year if you want to, but usually what I do is I wipe you guys all the way okay. So uh, that concludes the video. If you have any questions on these